When creating a site plan, a helpful tool to use is the parking component. It's really easy to use, so we are going to learn some basic rules and then you're good to go. You can find this tool in Massing and Site tab. You just need to go to Model Site Panel and then you can see this parking component. I'm going to for now put it in here. As you can see, it has a very simple family. So if you select it, you will see these two arrows in here. With these, you can just simply flip this family around and you can put it exactly where you want. If you go to properties section, you can see some different types of this family. So let's for now select this one. This is exactly the same family, but with 60 degree angle and the other one for example this one has 80 degree if these degrees are not good for you you can just go to edit type and from this part you can change this angle for example let's for now put it on 75 and it looks like this if you want to change the size of this family you just need to change them with these two options in here this is for parking lengths and this is for parking weights so i'm going to change this one to five and then apply and you can see that it will change from this part for the width i'm going to put it on three and then if you apply you can see that it will change from the other side let's select the new component and see how we can set these component these parking components in this part i'm going to put it exactly in this corner in here so there are different ways that you can copy this in this area. One of them is to just simply use this copy and then copy each one of them next to each other manually. But the better way is to use array. So with array, you will have more control over your component. And if you want to change anything, you can change them easily. So if you select your component, you just need to click on this array icon in this part. Make sure that it is on linear and this group and associate option is checked. Then you can select between second and the last option. I'm going to show you how you can use this second. If you want to go with this option, you just need to click first in this corner and then the, for the second component, you need to click on here. And after that, you just need to change this number and set the exact number of parking components that you need. So I'm going to go with eight and you can see that we have a little bit of space in here. Let's go with 10 and I think it's good. If I select it, you can see that it is in this part. So for that, we can just simply change the sizes of this parking components if you can. But if not, you can just simply go back to nine and instead change the size change the distance change the gaps between these components so if i select this second one i can move it and then all of these will have a little bit gap between them but we will have a standard parking components next to each other this is why i suggest using array it's easier to control also if you don't want to see these gaps in here you can select one of the families select one of these groups and then you can go to edit group then you need to select the family and from edit type you can change this width let's for now put it on 2.5 and then apply much better we have less gap in here and i think we can go with 2.62 okay this is much better and then you just need to hit finish and all of these components have the same size and dimension let's also check what we have inside one of these parking components family so for that i'm going to create a new one in this part and then if you select it you can go to its edit family let's go to ref level here and then i'm going to put this on fine and then consistent color in this family we have a line a model line and then we have a sweep as you can see in here we have a sweep which is called a stripe in here so if you want to change if you want to add anything you can just add any extrusion if you go to grid you can add extrusion you can add sweep you can add any model text you want you can insert any family or you can add any annotation that you need so let's go to insert because i want to add a, a handicap sign in here so let's see how we can do that we need to go to load family and then you need to find this 
parking symbol in the library of your Revit. So I'm going to select it and then I will simply insert it in here. If you go to create, you can select it with this component and you can just simply put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it in here and then if I load this family into my project, this sign will always be in this part. Then I want to create this stripe all around this area. I don't want to see any lines, but I want to see this stripe in here. So for that, I can either edit this one or I can just simply create a new one. I think it's easier to edit this one for now. I'm going to select it and if you go to edit sweep, you can change this path and create it all around this area. I'm going to click on this pick pass and with this pick through the edges, I'm going to select this edge and this one. Since I can't create any extra edge, I'm going to select this line and I will copy it to this side and you just need to simply hit finish. This profile is already in here, you don't need to change it, but if you want to see it, you can select it and you can go to edit profile. In one of these views, you can go and you can check the profile of this family so i'm going to hit finish because this is just a very simple profile and it's okay for me hit finish and finish again now if you go to ref level you can see this line this is stripe all around this area for changing its color you can either change it from here or you can change it from the main project. In the properties, you can go to this material section and you can change the color or any information about this material. But if you load it into your project with this same name, it will change and it will use the material that we have in the project, not this one that we changed. So if you want to bring the material that you created in here, you need to create a new material. I'm going to change its name and let's just call it a stripe. And in here you can change its color. Let's go with this one and then you can add any pattern you want you can add any description or any other thing and then you can just simply use this user render appearance okay and then in this part you can see the material that we just created you can also turn this material into a permit so you don't need to come back to this family and change it and then load it into the project if you want you can turn this into a permit and use it next to the parking lengths, parking widths, and that angle. So now I'm going to save this family with another name and then we can load it into the project. I'm going to put it in this part and now you can see the difference. Let me delete this one and flip this one like this because I want to set it exactly in here. Now before I change any other thing, I'm going to go to edit type and I want to change this width and i want it to be on three meter because we probably need more space for these type of parking components so i'm going to put it exactly in this part and then we can use array again for put it in this area i'm going to use last this time and for last i'm going to just simply click on this part and then I'm going to set it in this point exactly. Now we just need to change this number. I'm going to go with five. We can go with six or probably seven. And I think it's enough. Now you can either use this components with this gap or you can change the size of this component and fix them next to each other perfectly. If you go to 3D view, you can see all of these components perfectly next to each other. Simple like this, now you know everything about parking component and you can create or modify them according to your needs. I hope this video was helpful for you and I will see you next time.